that we're not going to come back to assessment because your intervention is tied directly to your assessment related to disability um, and also related to dialect. So again, as we're going to talk about the answer in this case, Hey guys, it's 1024. We are still in class. We have a 10 minute break right now, so I thought it'd be great to explain, you know, what we were learning today and the specifics about this class. So I'm in my language development class and it's for school age children. So last semester we did one on early childhood age, so like birth to three and five. And now we're getting into children who are attending school, so after five. Recently we've been talking about assessments for school age children and we've been talking about which assessments we can do and other methods of assessing so you know behavioral observations um other stuff like that and right before break we were doing a breakout discussion talking about a child who the teacher says that they don't understand directions well and stuff like that so we basically went in a breakout group and we discussed with you know the partners that we were with about you know what we could do in this situation what assessments we could do and what we need to learn from the assessment procedures. are typically paid by the homeschool district. Sometimes parents can private pay. Specialized, not on the student government, they're not the captain of the football team. In my school, everyone has a disability. Our kids- God, I love... <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Put on your jacket, you're gonna go. Mm -hmm. That never works out. It never <laughs> works out that way, but you know, that's what we're gonna say we're gonna do. Yeah. I'll Hey guys, it's 5.35 and after my class got out, I met with one of my partners to talk about our session tomorrow for our client. After this, I think I'm going to take a little break just because I've been on my screen for a very long time. And then after my little break, I'm going to work on some client sessions. Typically Monday night, I don't think about homework assignments for the classes on Thursday just because it does take a while to plan client sessions, so typically that's my main thought after class on Monday. And typically tomorrow, Tuesday after client sessions, I work on homework assignments. So I'm gonna go take my break, but as of now, my class day is done. <laughs> it was very long. I think our presentation went well today. Our professor, you know, said he really liked it, but he said that with all the other presentations also. So we'll find out once we get our grade back. I definitely missed some notes that I was supposed to say for the presentation, but it's okay. I still think it turned out fine. Hey guys, it's editing me. I am here in my robe and in my basement, so I'm sorry if you hear the heater going off, but I just wanted to piggy bank off of what I've just said because I was talking about a presentation, but I never really told you guys what my presentation was and clearly my past self did not care to explain so i'm gonna explain it right now really quickly so we had a presentation in our research class and we were talking about evidence-based practice and we all got into groups and chose an article that we wanted to discuss with the class so we chose an article that was about stuttering treatment in turkey and it was talking about the outcomes of telehealth treatment versus in therapy treatment so we were basically just talking about the methods, the participants, and all of that stuff from that article, and the limitations and stuff like that. So that's basically what our presentation was, and I don't know why I didn't explain it, but that's what it was. I will say we still have not gotten our grade back yet, so I cannot tell you guys if I did well or not, <laughs> so we're still gonna find out. Okay, now that I cleared that up, back to the video. So since I'm done with my classes, I'm just gonna tell you what I have for Thursday, and Thursday, I have um, neurogenic disorders, acquired neurogenic disorders, and then I also have autism spectrum disorder class. Um, and those are very interesting, I will say. Um, my professor that taught dysphagia is also teaching the neurogenic disorder class, and he's 
a stickler for anatomy and neuroanatomy and physiology. But yeah, that's what's happening Thursday. So today I had the language development class, I had a clinic class, and I had my research class. And also my research class ends next week, it's only one credit. So we have our exam next week and then we're done. <laughs> it's great because it's still in the middle of the semester and now I don't have to worry about that class and now I can just focus on my other, you know, three credit classes. Okay, so I'm getting a little tired and I think I really need to pick me up. So I'm just gonna walk around and get some energy back before I work on some client stuff. any questions if you wanted to pull up any videos that you found uh, we can analyze them together i can pull us some up uh, right hemiplasia will go away but does it have anything to do with like the fact that broca's area is close to it Which? cognition all right or maybe speech um some of these you know factual memory just to try to get a sense of what somehow <laughs> but it makes me feel so much better when it's clean again and I also think that um, what helps me personally is Hey guys, as you can see, I'm outside. I'm soaking up the sun after a day of sitting at my computer for hours with classes. It just feels so good to be outside right now. So it's been snowing and raining so much in Maryland that this day of sun is kind of rare for us right now. So I'm just enjoying myself and soaking up as much sun as possible before it gets cold again. Okay, so since I'm finally done with classes, I'm going to talk about my Thursday really quickly since I feel like I didn't really have any downtime to talk. But I had my acquired neurogenic disorder class in the morning and that was with my professor that did the dysphagia class from last semester. In that class, we're learning about different kinds of aphasia, different kinds of strokes, and today we were learning about the different ways to assess them and trying to figure out what problems they're going to have based on what diagnosis they have and you know, where their lesion is in the brain. Okay, then after that class, I had my autism spectrum disorder class, which I love and it's very interesting. And also I absolutely love my professor. I was an a assistant for her in undergrad, so I just absolutely love her. And today we were talking about assessment tools and how to screen people for autism. And we also had some guest speakers um, that talked about autism and their experience with autism. So that was very nice to hear. I will say after this whole day of classes and since it's in the middle of the week, I just feel very tired and I always kind of zone out during the lectures. And I think it's just because, you know, it's halfway through the week and, and also I'm always focused on my client sessions. I'm always freaked out and trying to plan for that. So I just feel like there's a lot in my mind during Wednesday. Technically, I'm done with my classes in my class day, as you can tell, but um, on Monday I showed what I was doing after my classes. So I'm just going to do that again for you guys. And definitely after my classes today, I'm going to work on some assignments for classes. And I'm also definitely going to work on some session plans. I already did have a FaceTime with one of my partners to talk about her session plan. So that was nice to get that out of the way. And then I feel like my first assignment is going to be finishing this PowerPoint we have for the one client that speaks Spanish. Just because it's very hard to make something and have the appropriate amount of assistance for her in the PowerPoint without a translator and get her to learn what we are teaching her. So that's just been kind of difficult and a lot to plan. Also, I'm very excited to share with you guys. I got the first dose of the COVID vaccine yesterday and my arm 
is very sore <laughs> but I was very excited and appreciative to be able to get that and um, that my program allowed me to get that so that's very exciting for me. We'll say it took me a while to find a vaccine appointment. I was applying to so many places for several months and I finally got one. So I'm just very excited to finally almost be fully vaccinated. Also, the vaccine did not hurt at all. Like needles really scare me, but that one, it did not hurt at all. Like it was easier than getting your blood drawn. It was easier than getting a flu shot. It was just very, you know, easy and painless. And I just loved that. Also, I really want to say that last semester was so much harder than this semester. I feel like the classes last semester were you know, definitely more intense and gave a lot of assignments every week and it just felt like we didn't have any downtime. I never really took time for myself, especially since I worked on the weekends. I just felt, you know, overworked, overstressed, and I just felt like there was a lot of pressure to do well. But this semester, I feel like all the assignments are spread out really well and all the professors are very accommodating and caring and they know that, you know, online classes are really hard to work with. So they're trying to do their best to make sure that we are learning the most that we can and making sure that we aren't, you know, spending time on our screen forever. <laughs> I do have an exam next week for my research class, but after that, I'm officially done with my research class. It's only one credit, so it's going to be finished next week. And honestly, that just makes me very happy to get a class out of the way and not have to worry about it. Also, spring break is coming up very soon and I'm very excited. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm just like way more happier this semester. I just feel so much better than I did. And I feel like I'm actually taking time for myself and trying to work out and, you know, do things for myself. And I think that really improves my mood <laughs> immensely. Okay, so once the sun goes down a little bit more, I'm gonna go inside and actually work on some things, but it's just so nice out here that I really don't wanna go back inside.